Hey, it's John from Keyboard. Welcome to a quick overview of Akai's virtual instrument player software called VIP, which works in tandem with the advanced keyboard, making it possible to search through all of the virtual instruments in your system. Akai has created a bunch of good video tutorials for specific functions, so I'm going to focus on a couple of tips to help you make the most of this hardware-software combo right out of the box. So you can search for sounds based on a variety of criteria. So for example, I might choose bass and then choose dark and arpeggios. And a list of sounds that match this criteria show up on the left here and I can just select any one of these. Most of these are for Trillion, but there are other instruments in here as well. Now, it's great to be able to search using these criteria, but sometimes you can get a little too far down the rabbit hole and end up with sounds that you don't really want. In which case, you could simply deselect some of these categories to undo your work, or you could reset everything in one fell swoop by simply clicking this little icon here. Now we're back to the beginning. Here I have a sound in Omnisphere that I've selected. You'll notice that we have tags for browser, plugin, and set list. If I click plugin, up comes Omnisphere's window. Now, you can see that this is pretty small, and while I can cursor around, it'd be easier to pull that out. And actually, if I want to dig into this sound a little bit more, that's exactly what I'd want to do. And you can do that by pressing this icon here. So now I have Omnisphere. I can dig in, look at my different samples, and so on. Toggling this pops it in and out of VIP. If you want to see and edit the physical controller assignments for the plugin parameters, you can do that by clicking this icon down here. And you'll see that by default, these are set for sensible parameters, the different levels for the oscillators, for example. It's really easy to change these simply by clicking. And then I can choose from any of the available plugin parameters, or I can assign it to a MIDI controller. If I do that, these turn blue and green as opposed to this orange and yellow scheme. That's an easy way to let you know what mode you're in, whether that's MIDI mode or you're in main mode where those controllers are mapped to plug-in parameters specifically. Okay, here I have a sound made up of three different layers. A sound from FM8, Alchemy, and Absinthe 5. What I'm going to show you here is how to set up zone assignments. And if you look, it's not really clear where you would do that, but if you look closely, you can see these high and low parameters or fields. And you could simply type in new values there, but it's more intuitive if you just simply click. And then up comes this virtual keyboard where you can change the mapping assignments for each of the selected sounds simply by dragging. So there's a quick look at getting around the VIP software and configuring it for use with the advanced keyboard. You can find more video tutorials at the URL on screen. And if you have any other questions about the review or suggestions for tips, you can email me at johnkrogue at mac.com. Thanks for watching.